that doesn't always translate into reach advantage. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, this following contest is scheduled for three two-minute rounds in the 145-pound division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He is making his MMA debut. He stands at five feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 145.3 pounds, and fighting out of Rancho Cucamonga. Here is Ian the Motor Morgan. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. With an undefeated record of one win, zero defeats, he stands at five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 142.8 pounds, fighting out of Rialto, California. Here is Juan De La Cruz. Your referee in charge of the action, George Gallegos. De La Cruz came in a little light. Sounded like this at 142.8. Hmm. I wonder if he normally fights at a different weight and just took this one because... Yeah, maybe he fights at 35 normally. Hard time to find a fight. Sometimes that's the way it works out. Working, pressing the action right away, trying to get De La Cruz cornered here. Yeah, Morgan definitely looking a little smaller. De La Cruz has sharp hands, I can see already. Morgan looking fast, though. Yeah, you can see De La Cruz has that boxing pedigree. Not sure if we've seen him fight before. We may have. But he's got some sharp boxing out of the gate here. Yeah, looking pretty good. Morka trying to press him up against the cage. See what he can do with it. Ooh, nice inside trip. Beautiful. Landing in the close guard here at De La Cruz. De La Cruz looking for that old school hip bump sweep maybe. He's going to try to... He's trying it. He uses it to stand up, but he gave up his back in the process. Yeah, tries to move to four points to uh, salvage some of that, but um, it just gets Morgan all over him. That was a real nice back take, too. He saw that opportunity, seized it right away, working for this rear naked choke here. Now, if De La Cruz, oh, no, going for the power half. I like this, it's, but he, yeah, he doesn't have, uh, oh, he's got the far side hook still. Yep, but I like De La Cruz. Shucking off that hook. He might land in a guillotine here, He though. is landing in a guillotine. Oh, De La man. Cruz, yeah, puts him in, in on the worst side, too. Oh, he uses it to sweep, though. I think he realized he didn't have the choke. Yeah, De La Cruz should be putting hands on the hips, getting Morkin away from him. Oh, but uh, Morkin abandons the choke, going back for it now. But now it's in uh, half guard. De La Cruz has that underhook, too. He could use it to try to pass, but we're running out of time. Yeah, this round went quick. Woof. Yeah, these guys are probably deserving of, of three-minute rounds, in my opinion, just based on the skills yeah, I see. They look much more technical. Yeah. I would like to see three-minute rounds with these guys, but we're stuck with twos for now. That yeah. was a close round. Yeah, technical striking, technical grappling, yeah. and both in good shape, which yeah. is uh, not, not what you see usually for people going two-minute rounds. And there was a nice inside trip. Takes uh, De La Cruz's back away from the fence. Here's the guillotine attempt. You like to see with the with only one leg over, you like to see a, a no arm in guillotine typically, but made a nice effort out of that choke and then turned it into a sweep to wind up on top. Yeah, then abandoned it from mount, even though De La Cruz was not really defending the best from mount or from the bottom of mount. Right. But uh, yeah, there's, that one was kind of really just getting going. I'm not. I think, the, I think the ring car girl is holding up round three, which... Yeah, this is this is going into round two, right. so... thought maybe the Hadron Collider caused it, us to skip a round. It did, yeah. <laughs> we, we, we lost one in there. It was that exciting. That's right. Yeah, the last one was just barely getting going. I'm not really even sure how they would score that last one. Yeah, I'm not even going to make an attempt to score it because I was too wrapped up in watching the technique. Beautiful head kick attempt there from Morkin. Both these guys are, I'm impressed with their level. Yes, and De La Cruz seems to have the, the striking advantage, although uh, those head kicks, not so bad from Morkin. Yeah, he's no slouch. Ooh, yeah, Morkin is fast, if anything. I'd like to see him get it to the ground, though. He seems like he has a, a distinct advantage there. 
front leg side kick coming, and then a lead leg high kick. Yeah, good kicks from Morgan. Yeah, he is quick. Oh, yeah. beautiful Ooh. body shot to the little Dutch combo there. Body shot to the low kick. Yes. Going upstairs now. De La Cruz with head movement. Some Ernesto Hoost. Yep. Inside leg kick. Oh, and then the tie plum. I think De La Cruz has got a little bit of the advantage, at least with the uh, with the punches. Yeah, his hands are really crisp. Ooh, look at that level change, too. Beautiful timing and entry from Morgan. Going to look to stuff that left leg. And De La Cruz looking for a triangle, though. He's... Yeah, but Morgan, see, that was nice. Morgan had control oh, of his toes. Good right hand. And but... made him pay the price, too. Yes, Morgan really... Let him eat that one. Arm lock attempt coming from the bottom, maybe? See the setup. Yeah, De La Cruz has some some more classic style jujitsu. Oh, wow. A Picked him all surprising. the way up. Picked him all the way up from inside close guard. Morkin's strong here. And he has a possible yeah, he either. Has a triangle attempt here because yep. one of those arms is trapped. Oh, he's going to opt oh, for the G. Just G tee and off P. and look for the back. De La Cruz should come up to four points here. Oh, eating some big punches under those underhooks. Maybe try to get it. Man, yeah, he's Morgan is really teeing off here. Trying to get a stoppage here, but it's not going to happen. Yeah, but he's going to end up on the top, and uh, that round's probably going to go to him. Yeah, Morgan's definitely going to take that round. I mean, it's assuming maybe that De La Cruz took the first round, it was. It could be one one. Could be. Could, could be two zero. Oh. Yeah, could be. Yeah, that first one was real close. Depends on how you score it. There's a, starting it off with that head kick. He's got a fast left leg. And there's the tie plum. I like that entry into it was like into, into an inside single. Yeah, see how he has like... control of the foot here. He, so he, De La Cruz could not throw up that triangle like he wanted. Yeah, great back control too. Yeah. Would have loved to see Morgan go for maybe a monoplot off of off of that one arm exposure when uh, De La Cruz is on the side right before he took the back. But uh, man, I mean, just going for the damage instead, beautiful. It, it certainly earned him the round, and I, I think De La Cruz is going to have to come out with his foot on the gas here. He can't afford risking if he took round one or not. You know, he's got to assume he's down two rounds. Yeah, absolutely. De La Cruz at least has the skills to still win this round. It's not like he's completely down and out. Yeah, he may, you may you may see him throw caution to the wind and just you know start throwing power shots. Be curious to see how this goes. To your point though, these both of these fighters are way too skilled for for just two minute rounds. Right. Looking for that one six. Ooh, it. I like that that overhand right to a knee tap. Oh, and he gave up his neck to to grab the fence, and he's going to pay the price here. Right on the back, looking to sink this, in this, this rear naked choke. He's not getting out of this one. And yeah. that's it. Beautiful job from Morkin. Wow. Morgan looking so impressive. This kid is nasty. I will keep my eye on him. Hats off. What a performance. Yeah. And De La, Cru De La Cruz is no slouch either. So this is a, he makes it even more impressive. Yeah. I, I would like to actually see a rematch with three minute rounds, to be honest. But, uh, you know, De La Cruz made a critical error there getting up. When he, when, he, when he was trying to hop up from that takedown, he reached out to, to balance himself on the cage and left his neck wide open. And Morgan just took full advantage. Yeah, De La Cruz just trying to, last ditch effort, trying to slam Morgan, and trying then, to get out of this. Yeah, it just rarely works. I mean, even so on deep. pavement, it, it most likely wouldn't work. Yeah, that's, that's a rough one when they're on your back like that. Right. Unless there's a huge weight advantage. Yeah, like 100 plus pounds, you could maybe <laughs> crash into the guy's chest and, and, you know, knock the wind out of him. But on a, on a padded canvas like that, yeah. it's just going to make the choke tighter. Yes. Very nicely done for Morgan. I'd like to see the replay of that, um, how he's how he sunk the choke in. Yeah, it happened so fast. Morgan is really quick. The timing on his takedown is really impressive, too. And then, you know, De La Cruz just, I think he had the mentality of, I don't want to let this takedown settle in. Yeah, going because to four points a lot. Gonna, and, yeah. yeah, and Morgan really had the answer for that. And so he just, he got up and, and forgot to fight the hands. He leaned on the fence and left his neck wide open. Yeah, especially you're going to four points a lot. You can't shuck them over the top right away. Then you have to protect your neck because yep. that, that choke's coming in. You just have to accept the fact that, okay, you got taken down. The guy's on your back. Let's fight the hands, and let's work a technical escape here. A 
lot of times for that over under seatbelt position though on four points you can get them to, to fall over the top but uh Morgan yeah, was you just, try to put up real high yeah Morgan is just really all over him though Ladies and gentlemen, referee George Gallegos calls the tap out at 22 seconds of the third round for your winner by submission due to rear naked choke. Out of the red corner, Ian the Moda Morkin. That's right, fight fans. We got Ian Morkin in the house. Make some noise one more time for Ian Morgan. Great choke out, great tap out. How do you feel, brother? I feel great, I feel great. Uh, shout out to Millennia Squad, Romeo Rum, Vince Guzman, Raptor Man, Javi, Kai, everyone that came to watch. I got like 30 people here, thank you guys. So what's next, brother? Just keep it going, December 17th, pro debut. That's right, fight fans. Once again, make some noise for Ian Morgan. Hey, Jess. Just another replay. There's that inside trip that Morgan got early on, looking for this. Arm in guillotine sits to the proper hip and everything. High kick. I mean, Morgan was all over the place. It's, uh, it's hard to even say that De La Cruz did anything too wrong. It's just Morgan was just really sharp. He was, he had a beautiful takedown attempt from uh, that second round. There's De La Cruz. Well, that's the end of round two right here, I think, right? Or was that round one? I can't remember. But here was, and watch how De La Cruz posts on the fence right there. Yes. That right hand, he used it to try to post to stand up and left his neck wide open. Yeah, especially with that good posture where they can stay on your back like that. Yeah, and it, yeah, Morkin's too good to make that error. But that's why we're in the amateurs. You know, they'll learn and, and he'll come back stronger. 